Man, I can't believe mum and dad dragged us on this trip to London. Well, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. There's fun places to visit, like Madame Tussauds, Buckingham Palace, Tower Bridge, and Big Ben. Well, I hope so. I'd rather be back home playing video games and hanging out with my sweetheart, Amber. Oh, I almost forgot. You're still grounded for what you and Amber did to the Suzuki sisters, Yuna and Hitomi. Bruh, don't you remind me about that incident. William. Oliver. Come out please. Your mother and I need to go over to Dave's plan with you too, Amelia and Olivia. We're coming, Dad. Alright everyone. Today's our first day in London. Your mother and I are thinking about visiting the Freud Museum. Afterwards, we'll visit Green Park, Hyde Park and St. James's Park. Green Park? What kind of an idiot names a park Green Park? And the Freud Museum? Boring. I read that Green Park has no flower beds because King Charles II's wife, Queen Catherine of Braganza, had all the flowers there removed. The reason she wanted all the flowers removed is because she found the king picking flowers there for a milkmaid that he had his eyes on. Wow, really? Now that is something. Now the reason we chose to go to the Freud Museum because I thought we could do something educational in addition to all the fun we'll have during our trip here. Oh I see. I suppose there is nothing wrong with adding some educational aspect to a trip. Now Oliver, remember that you were grounded for what you and Amber did to the Suzuki sisters. Sadly, you'll have to stay behind and be on your best behavior. As for you William, you are free to come with us, provided that you'll behave and not cause drama. The other option is that you can stay behind with Oliver. Yeah. Oliver and William, you two have bad track records. However William, I can sense you might have a change in heart, but we'll let time tell. Now, if you two or just Oliver decides to stay behind, you are not to go anywhere far from our hotel. Let's just say, no more than one kilometer from here. Julie noted dad, Julie noted. The closest tube stations to our hotel are Euston and Euston Square. I created a radius map to see the area that's about one kilometer from our hotel. You are not to go anywhere past the following stations. Great Portland Street, Mornington Crescent, King's Cross, Gooch Street, and Russell Square. Oh, and don't even think about going to Regent's Park. That's outside the one kilometer radius. We'll leave you the map. Do you two boys understand what we said? Yes, Dad. You made everything clear. Yes, Dad. Clear as a bell. You two will have some time to think about what we said. We'll be leaving for the museum and the parks in an hour. Okay, I guess. Okay, William, do you want to stay with me and cause trouble or go with our parents, sister, and cousin on their boring trip to the museum and parks? I thought about it and I'm going to go with our parents, sister, and cousin. Bruh, are you serious? Don't you want to have fun? I just want to have a bit fun the right way and try to prove to our parents, sister, and cousin that I can be good sometimes. Oh no you're not. Stay here with me or I'll make your life miserable. I'm just going to go and you're not going to stop me. I'm out of here. Have fun. Get back here, William. You're going to regret this. Oh fine. Be that way. I can't believe William ditched me like that. What happened? I thought he is my partner in crime. I still can't get over the fact that he didn't side with me over what Amber and I did to the Suzuki sisters. Now I have to figure out what I should do to get back at William and make him realize the mistake he's made. But first, I shall go on my laptop. Wow, there's a station named Cockfosters. Did the people that named the station have a dirty mind? Oh and check this one out. Park Royal. Why name it that when there's no parks and no royal palaces around the station? Ah, Finchley Road and Frognall. What kind of a name is Frognall? Oh, that gives me an idea. So this must be Finchley Road and Frognall Station. Okay. So the plan is to create a frog storm here at Finchley Road and Frognall. Moo ha 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 ha. I got my magic wand here. Now to make it rain frogs. Nasho Pasho 69. Make it rain frogs here at Finchley Road and Frognall. I can't wait to see everyone's reactions. 
Oh my god! What happened here? This is an unusual phenomenon. I know we get rain here in London, but raining fogs? This is new. We have no choice but to alert the control center about the situation. Not only that, but we need to inform anyone who is still in the station to leave due to the situation. Customer service update. The Jubilee line is part suspended between Baker Street and Stanmore. The Metropolitan line is also part suspended between Baker Street and Wembley Park. London Oak Ground is part suspended between Gospel Oak and Wilston Junction. This is due to an unusual phenomenon at Benchley Road and Frogmore. Minor delays on the rest of the Jubilee Line and Metropolitan Line. Severe delays between Gospel Oak and Stratford and between Wilston Junction and Richmond and Clapham Junction. Customers are advised to seek alternative routes. Good service on other London Underground Lines, DLR, other London Overground Routes and the Elizabeth Line. I'm sorry folks, but this station is currently closed. That's because the Jubilee line has been suspended between Baker Street and Stanmore due to an incident at Finchley Road and Frognell. Could you tell us what happened? We can't give much details other than that it's an unusual phenomenon. This affected not only the Jubilee line, but also the Metropolitan line and London Everground. You're out of luck if you're planning on heading to Finchley Road station. It's also closed. Oh my god. What should we do then? Your best bet is to head to South Hampstead Station and take the London Overground. The station is on the Watford DC line and is about a five minute walk from here. Just so you know, the London Overground is suspended between Wilston Junction and Gosport Oak. There is good service on the Watford DC line. I guess we have to do that then. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. We are sorry that your journey has been affected. Hello officer. I see you got my son Oliver. What happened? Mr. and Mrs. Carlon, you will be shocked to hear this. Your son, Oliver, has been found responsible for causing a frog storm at Finchley Road and Frognall. TfL and the British Transport Police have been investigating this situation. Based on the CCTV footage near the station, we found that he's the one responsible. Here, let me show you the footage. Nasho Pasho 69. Make it rain frogs here at Finchley Road and Frognall. Oh my god. Oliver. How could you do something like that? Think about the people whose days are ruined, including ours. Don't you realize what you did disrupted so many people's journeys, especially those who rely on taking trains and the underground to their workplaces? We just finished our museum visit and when we arrived at Swiss Cottage Station to take the Jubilee Line to Green Park, we were told it was closed due to the incident. Because of this, we had to postpone our trip to the parks and took the London Neverground back to Euston. Once we arrived at the hotel entrance, we saw you with this officer. We kind of suspected you had something to do with the frog storm. Oliver, explain yourself. Why did you have to create such a disaster at the Finchley Road and Frognall Station? Yeah Oliver, tell your parents the same thing you told me and my fellow officers from the British Transport Police. Well mum and dad, there are two reasons why I did it. The first one is because I hated that William went with you, Amelia, and Olivia. He basically betrayed me. Second, it's because when I heard, Frognall, I immediately thought it would be cool if it rained frogs at Finchley Road and Frognall. Why name it Frognall if there are no frogs? I understand you're upset with William coming with us to the museum and parks. However, that doesn't mean you should do something weird to a station just because of that. Because of what Oliver did, we have so many frogs to remove from the tracks and station platforms before it's clear to resume service on the affected lines. In addition, it looks like there's a £1,000 fine to pay. Seriously? A £1,000 fine? Oliver, look what you got us into. It's either the fine or he will be in prison for some time. Well, we choose to pay the £1,000 fine. Afterwards, we'll talk to Oliver about additional consequences. Thank you, officer, for telling us about what Oliver did. You're welcome. I hope your son will learn his lesson on not to disrupt rail services as it causes inconveniences to many rail users. Looky there. 
It's the big baby Oliver. What's wrong? Do you need your teddy bear? Shut up William. This is your fault. You betrayed me by going out with our parents, sister, and cousin. How dare you? Oh, is baby Oliver hungry? Want your baby bottle? Bruh, stop. None of this would have happened if you just stayed behind with me. Whatever happened to you? Can't you just be mature and accept that I made the decision to go out with our parents, Olivia, and Amelia? I won't. Ever. You're a traitor, backstabber, and the worst brother ever. I still can't believe you didn't side with me during the Suzuki sisters situation. Listen, I don't like Yuna and Hitomi, but that doesn't mean I would go far as to get physical with them. If we don't like someone, we should just move on from them. Don't give me this dumb man style lesson. William, how dare you betray me like this? I thought we were best brothers. Ugh, I can't stand arguing with you. I'm out of here. I will go talk with Olivia and Amelia. No 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 no. Please. Bro. Don't leave me. Say all you want, but I'm sticking with my decision. I thought I would be able to get away with what I did, but no. I had to get caught and also deal with being backstabbed by my younger brother. Can this day get any worse? Honey, this is the second time William did something good for a change. Not only that, but he didn't plan any trouble with Oliver. However, we aren't fully convinced that William has changed for the better. Yeah. Just like what Olivia said, William might change back to his troublemaking ways. We'll just have to wait and see. What do you think about this incident compared to what he and Amber did to the Suzuki sisters? I still think the Suzuki sisters situation is the worst out of all the stuff Oliver did. This frog storm situation, however, is the most bizarre. Another thing, why did Oliver have to do that just because of the station's name? I get that some of the stations in London have unique names, but that doesn't mean he has to do something bad or weird to it. Oliver will never change his ways. He's going to be like this for the rest of this life. When will he change? Well, when pigs fly. Yeah. When pigs fly.